Look to look over here. <laughs> look up, look up, look up, look up. It is 5.30 on a Saturday morning. We were up far earlier than we typically would get up. But today is a special day. Today, we are going deep into Denali National Park. You girls ready? So ready. How about you, Caroline? Ready. Ready. Right. Let's do it. I got to be a pretzel glossy too. I could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After what seemed like weeks of rain and clouds, we almost talked ourselves out of even attempting to see Denali National Park. But at the last minute, changed our minds and rolled the dice, hoping and praying that our tour would be a memorable one. As you can imagine, the prospect of sharing a bus with a bunch of other people wasn't high on our excitement scale, especially after the freedom of movement we had had over the past several months. Look at Houston. It's Houston, Kevin and Sarah. Yes, and awesome. Caroline. And Caroline. Oh, yep. sorry, I didn't see it. All right, okay. <laughs> jump on board, sit together. Are you Caroline? That is a really cute puppy you've got there. Our cheerful bus driver and guide for the day warned us as we eased through the low clouds and fog that the past few trips had been very uneventful and the weather report was marginal at best, just in case our hopes were too high. We appreciated the reality check, as we had seen for ourselves just how gloomy this time of year can be in Alaska, though we were anxiously awaiting what the day would bring in spite of the odds. We had come a very long way and knew the likelihood that we would return this far north was slim. Needless to say, we wanted to catch at least a glimpse of Mount Denali before returning south again. Time runs over, life's begun. Will you return to who you were when you were young? Wish I your cold was it love or was it drugs or maybe both who did you worship who did you trust was it God or something flawed just like us these are questions I'm asking you cause I don't know Were 
As the morning wore on, they were getting more and more excited with every wildlife encounter, while the sun beat back the clouds and it seemed as if the whole valley came alive to greet us. Suddenly, we rounded a bend and our hearts skipped a beat as we came face to face with the tallest mountain in North America, Denali herself. Oh yes, it was going to be a good day. We're often asked how we keep Caroline entertained during our travels. Well, we use a lot of different methods, including coloring, audiobooks, and educational games on our tablet. But when we're in a national park, we use the Junior Ranger program to help her stay involved in the history and wildlife. We absolutely love this program, and it makes us proud when she completes her activity book. Oh, um, would you like to become a Junior Ranger? Can I check your book? Say yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Where's home for you? Where are you visiting from? Well, we kind of uh, don't have a home right now. It's okay. We um, live on the road right now. We're just traveling around. You're already in the make, making of being a ranger. That's right. Yeah, because <laughs> we move around and go to different parks too. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. You're doing great. O. Mm -hmm. L. Caroline, are you ready to take your oath and become a junior ranger? Mm -hmm. Okay. Caroline, are you ready to repeat after me? Okay, as an official junior ranger. As an official junior ranger. I pledge to. I pledge to. Spend time exploring our national parks. Spend time exploring national park. Continue learning about the natural world. Continue learning the natural world. Do all I can. Do all I can. To protect. Protect. The world around me. The world around me. And furthermore. furthermore. When I get back on the bus. I big get back on the bus. I'm going to look out the window. I'm going to look out the window. I'm going to look for wildlife. I'm going to look for wildlife. Beautiful views. Beautiful views. And I'm going to turn to a sleeping adult. <laughs> You're going and to I turn to a sleeping adult. I'm going to turn to a sleeping adult. I'm going to tap them awake. I'm going to tap them awake. Tell them to look outside that window. It's time to Look outside that window. And tell them because I'm a junior ranger. I'm a junior ranger. Round of applause for my junior ranger here. <laughs> All right. We've got our junior Yay! ranger here and she gets her badge. This is your Denali badge right here. This is for you. <laughs> What'd you just do? What'd you just do? I got my first junior badge. Yeah, you're a junior ranger now? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Help people to make sure they stay asleep. <laughs> the sun rises behind her eyes, but she still can't see it. And she's beside me, I walk slowly. She feeds my soul, 
all the gold I could need This whole time I've been searching for the wrong thing She's my captain, she's the sea She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me She's my captain, she's the sea She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me For my bones And I'll never have to break the cold alone She's the kind you only find in a story I've never had anybody fight for me She's my captain She's the sea, she's the sun on my back, baby, believe me. She's my captain, she's the sea, she's the sun on my back, baby, believe me. After 92 miles of bus travel, we arrived at the heart of the Nali National Park, at the gold town of Kantishna. Part of our tour package included a lunch and beverages. Unfortunately, there was no steak involved, so the camera went into the bag as we ate our chicken salad sandwiches. With their belly satisfied, we went out to attend the gold painting classes to hopefully offset some of our travel expenses. There's a couple of things that you have to know about gold panning. First off, gold is very, very dense. It's about 19 times denser than water. If you have gold in the dirt in your pan, it's gonna sink to the bottom of your pan once you get some water in there and you start swirling it around a bit, okay? Second thing you have to know about gold panning is you have to trust your pan. Like I said, gold is very dense. When you mix it around, it's gonna sink to the bottom of your pan. And then when you start to get all of this extra dirt and rocks out, it's okay if a lot of it's coming out at once, all right? Because that gold is gonna stick in your pan and it's gonna stick in the bottom of these ridges um, or underneath all of this dirt, all right? In 1903, Judge James Wickersham attempted to climb Denali, but was unsuccessful. What he did find, though, was a bit of gold and staked claim. When word of this strike reached the public, it wasn't long before prospectors poured into the area and began operations. Like many gold rushes in Alaska's history, it didn't last long, and only a few claims were ever successful enough to stay in operation. But during its boom, the small town of Eureka 
or as it's now called, Kantishna, helped provide the miners with food, supplies, and lodging. The historic Kantishna Roadhouse still stands here today, and many tourists like ourselves come here every year to visit the heart of Denali and dip their pans in these rushing waters to do the same as prospectors did over 100 years ago, attempt to strike it rich. Though this time around, it's more about the richness of experience. So I didn't strike it rich, but I actually found a piece of gold. Yeah, well, it might not pay for the trip, but it's definitely worth it. That is awesome. Found gold in the Nali National Park. Too cool. guys what do you think ah! <laughs> Caroline what did you think of Denali National Park good good what was your favorite part um, the grizzly bears the grizzly bears we saw 12 grizzly bears about two dozen caribou okay. we saw 49, 49 doll, doll sheep. sheep we saw five wolves and we saw Mount Denali, base to summit of the North and South Peak. All day long, all day long. And, and found gold in the heart of Denali. 
I'm gonna buy you a steak tonight. All right. It's only gonna be about half an ounce because that's all I can afford. <laughs> but that was awesome. That was so cool. And we had sunshine all day, so now camp's all dried out. Oh, it's gonna be nice. Good and day. since it's clear, we have a three prediction for Aurora Borealis. So if we're not exhausted. <laughs> Oh, I'm waking up for a horrible reality. We're going to have to get up and, and go look at the sky. Good day. Real good day. It seemed as if Alaska had been hiding from us over the past few weeks, under layers of clouds and rain. But now, now she was just showing off. This is, today <laughs> has been the perfect day. I don't think it's gonna, we're gonna top this. I don't know.